Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, rapture. To the critic, who says the word rapture is not in the Bible? Congratulations, critic, you are correct. So many people will say, where does the word rapture come from? For the answer, we have to go back to the 4th century. And the word comes from the Latin translation of the Bible. And this Latin translation is called the Vulgate. St. Jerome was commissioned to translate the Bible into the Latin language. And so the word used in the Vulgate, and this is from Vulgate.org, Rapimur, uh, the Latin Vulgate New Testament Bible, 1 Thessalonians 4.17. That's where the word Rapimur, Rapturo, is used. So St. Jerome translated the New Testament from the original Greek. The original Greek word is harpazo, and per Strong's Concordance it means to carry, to seize, carry off by force, claim for one's self eagerly, to snatch out or away. So 1 Thessalonians 4, 17, then we who are alive and remain will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall always be with the Lord. So the Greek word for caught up is harpazo. Literally, Jesus will seize and claim for himself eagerly those who believe in him. Once we are claimed, we are forever with him. And if that security of that verse is not enough, John 10, verses 28 and 29, I will give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. So this is this is Jesus talking in these two verses. And the word snatch, or harpazo, is used twice. Once we are taken, we have double coverage. Jesus himself will securely protect the believer. We are in Christ. He has snatched us, harpazo, taken us. And by his admission... The Father is greater than Him, and if it were possible, um, you're not taking it out of out of taking a person out of God's hands. So it's like Jesus says, "Look, you're not getting out of. You're secure with Me, and if it were possible to be taken away from Me, the Father's got you covered. So we're not going anywhere but with God. And I mean, we are covered with all three aspects, or all three persons of the Trinity. We are sealed by the Spirit. We are in Christ, and we are in the hand of the Father. So we're we're triple covered. Um, the Father and Son know to snatch the believer because we're sealed with the Spirit. And that's Ephesians one verses thirteen and fourteen. In Him, you also, after listening to the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Having also believed the gospel message, Christ died for sin, resurrected from the dead, uh, you were sealed in him with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is given as a pledge of our inheritance, with a view to the redemption of God's own possession, to the praise of his glory. So we have eternal security in the triune God. We are harpazoed, snatched, rapturo, whatever vocabulary you want to use, we're the property of God. And you think about it. What what can what can a person really do about that? I mean, the only thing we can really do is listen to that message and believe it. Uh, how do we get in the clouds in our current existence? Um, can you find Jesus in the clouds? Where's, where's the meeting going to be? Over what city? Um, how high is he going to be suspended over the earth? What time is the meeting? When does it take place? And it's, you know, the reality of it is, just believe the message. I mean, there are the words, and what you do with it is your business. So, if you're interested in the topic, please feel free to check out paulthepoke.com, keyword rapture. Thanks for listening. Take care. Bye.